If you are a B2B service-based business owner and you are looking to gain more clients, create more impact and more revenue in your business, tune in to Amplify Your Marketing Message with Christine Campbell Rappin. Every week, we're going to take you through how to build an audience of buyers, mastering your marketing message, and making offers that convert consistently. We'll see you all on the inside. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I want to come at you with a controversial truth tell. And that is that your voice does not get lost and it does not need to get found. The truth is you always have it. What you choose to do with it is a choice. Today on Amplify Your Marketing Message, we're going to be talking about using your voice to find your next buyer because... I will guarantee you they are searching. They're searching on YouTube, on Pinterest, on their social media platform of choice or Google. And if you are struggling to see consistent client growth, it is not that they're not out there. It is not an economic conversation. It is that you are not being found. And that is because of the choices you're making around your voice. I am your host, Christine Campbell Rapp, and I help B2B service-based businesses just like you create that client growth engine. And it always comes down to three fundamentals. Every business on the planet needs them. And if you are not having consistent client growth, chances are you have a gap in one of these foundations. And even if you have already seen success in your business, there will come a time and place, foreshadow it for you here, that you're going to find disconnection with your next buyer. And so it is imperative that you always go back to these foundations because they are the grace and the health of your business and they need to be revisited frequently. So just to recap, if you've not been around for a while, they are, number one, you have to be able to identify and attract your next buyer. And that means you have to choose the intersection point that you will meet your next buyer. That is a decision point. And often we find ourselves out of sync or out of speed or out of time in that point. And that creates the problems to start with. Number two is once you know the intersection point, you've got to shift from just having information to something that spurs curiosity. Because our goal line is to move from curious to pay clients predictably, profitably, and in a fast period of time. Number three is that we have to create value because your business only moves when money moves hands. And that means you've got to know what's valued on the eyes of the beholder, i.e. your buyer, your your next client, or your next customer. And you need to be clear what makes you the safe bet, the must hire. And you need to be able to communicate the offer and lead it. So once you get to this whole concept that there are three foundations, I call them non-negotiable because every business on the planet needs them, you need to then find and fill the gaps. And you do that by getting visible. But I said not all visibility is equal. And a lot of people, God, I see it everywhere. I've lost my voice. No, you didn't. You're just choosing not to use it. That's uncomfortable and true. And there's a lot of people out there saying, I'm here to help you find it. You don't need to be found something that's not lost. I am inviting you to amplify it. And when you are amplifying it, it comes down to the decision that says, I must be using the tools I was given. And the tools you are given is your viewpoint. This is where strategy comes into play. You get to decide four key things as a business owner. So you know that there's three foundations to building a business. Now you get to choose how you play. And there's four questions we answer. Number one is who are we and what do we stand for? That is a result-driven statement and a value system decision-making framework. From there, we decide where do we want to play? That's that intersection point. What is the marketplace we want to choose? What's the intersection point we want to create? And what do we want to solve for our next customer, buyer, or client? Then we get to decide, how do we win here? What is the tactics? 
What is the unique selling proposition? What is the unique opinion, viewpoint, expertise behind me that helps me forecast the unknown? The pathway to results. That's a strategy. That's our go-to-market strategy and our tactics that support the execution. And the final piece of the puzzle is what capabilities and capacities do we need to create a business around it? And there are both going to be short-term, mid-term, and long-term needs in that because you and your marketplace are constantly in movement, which is why I invite my clients, why I invite you as a listener is to focus on the movement. So our goal line today is we have a foundation of non-negotiables. We know what questions we need to ask. Well, then how do we create the results, which is the next buyer moving towards our business? I said predictably, profitably, and consistently. Well, the truth is you need to create content that shows the plan in execution because it's not enough to just be knowledgeable because truthfully, you're competing against a knowledge base that is vast. Google, Pinterest, YouTube, social media platform of your choice, Uncle Bob's opinion, all of it. Knowledge is not enough. You need to show them how to apply the knowledge. And so there's three key things that I want all of your content to have a through line around. Are you ready? This is key. Number one, you have to have proof. You have to show belief because your next buyer is wobbly in their belief. They have a problem. They have a problem that repeats. They've tried to solve the problem through the free resources that are available in the world of knowledge. They've tried to white knuckle their way through it. They've tried maybe in paid for services and they haven't got the results because the knowledge isn't the problem, it's the execution that's the problem. But you need to show proof that what you're doing what you stand for, what your past clients have achieved is not a one hit wonder. Because your buyer is jaded, they wobble in their belief and they need evidence. Evidence that shows possibility because customers are looking for a possibility of an alternate reality than the failure to solve the problem they are currently living with. So what are you showing proof wise in the marketplace? Proof can be a lot of different things. Proof can be your own testimony, especially if you're just starting in business. Your own history is the evidence that shows it's possible. It could be a past client, which could be shown through a case study, through a testimonial, through an advocacy, in a public space, an endorsement, a recommendation, an introduction, all kinds of things that say, I vouch for the result and the framework, belief, values of the person executing it. So proof is number one. So I want you to remember that it's not enough to say it's possible. You need to go beyond the knowledge to say, it's possible when you use this framework supported by me. And here's why you hire me. And here's how I invite you to move. That's step number one. Step number two is you have to show and promise that it isn't a one hit wonder. You have to promise that this is a new pattern that can be established because truthfully, we're not looking to solve things once. I'm here specifically talking to the service providers. We're here to say we're creating a system, a framework, a model that creates repeatable success lifetime value. And so you have to promise the result. And you do that by your offers. The offers are the promise to the results. And so when I'm looking, working with clients, I say at 50,000 feet, those four questions of strategy are the nucleus, the heart. And you might have under an umbrella, multiple offers. The fewer offers, the better when you're first starting. But each of those offers gets you to the results. There has to be a congruency here. There has to be a, I trust that. So for me, I have three core offers. I have the podcast, which is free knowledge that you can follow along that will get you to the result of a client growth engine. 
listen to the series of podcasts and you will find the roadmap, the heart, the execution, the tactics, and proof that it's happening. And a promise that if you come and work with us, we'll help you if you cannot do this on your own. That's number one offer. Number two offer is our group programs. Our group programs take you through over a six month period building the three foundations so that you can create the client growth engine. You get group support, you get consistent meetings and knowledge sharing and an opportunity to get the feedback loop. Step number two, it's a different way that we can promise how to help you get results. The third way is our one-to-one mentorship program, the Business Scale Accelerator. In that same thing, we're going to help you build the three non-negotiables. We're going to get you to a client growth engine, and we're going to help you do that specific to your business at the speed at which you want to travel. All three of those are promises to the result. All three of them, we show up and support with evidence, testimonies, personal experience, advocacy, referrals, and introductions. And we're building confidence at every step in the way. And we're getting clear that we're amplifying. We invite you at our table. The third piece of the puzzle is that you've got to have a plan. And again, what people are looking for is the way you see the world. This is your expertise, your unique lens point, because they want to see the promise of a result that's different than the one they're living with now. And they want to know that you know how to do that predictably, repeatably, and have lifetime value around it, which means you have to have something that is systematic, that holds a high standard that they feel I can buy into emotionally, time and resource commitments, and financially. Because the only time your business moves hands is when money is moving hands, which means I buy into your plan. And a lot of people are selling a plan that looks like a unicorn, super sparkly, super all-encompassing, and super generic. And that's the problem. Because when your buyer has a problem that they've repeatedly tried to solve there in the dark and saying, I don't need a unicorn. I need one step. And I need one step to lead to another step, to lead to another step, which is the plan in action. And as the plan builds momentum, I'm kind of going, wow, more is possible. But more isn't interesting at the beginning. People are looking for a specialist. They're trying to solve one thing at a time because the complexity is overwhelming. And they're asking and inviting you saying, tell me how to do something complex, simple through a plan that can be broken down piece by piece. I tell people you need three things in business. Ability to identify and attract your client, ability to move them consistently from curious to paid client, and be able to create value, lead it, create the results, and be seen as the person people hire. Everyone comes into my business with different priorities around those three things. But in order to create the result, I'm clear the plan is one of the three ways to execute this one-to-one group or the podcast. I'm going to promise you support in various levels of intensity. And you're going to see that plan, that promise executed and shown with belief. That's how you stand in your voice. I said, you know, if you're thinking I've lost it, you haven't. You've choicefully chosen not to apply it. And if you're in the business of saying I help people find your voice, I'm saying, you know what? You're not needed. People don't need to find what is not lost. People do need support amplifying it. People do need help refining it. People do need help interpreting it to the outcome that they're seeking. But my friends, I will tell you right now, everything you're doing is a choice. So while my business as a whole stands for a client growth engine, that is the result I promise. I show you how to get, I support you. I believe it's possible. The ultimate win of working with me, yes, it's clients, but that's not the biggest win. But it's the one you are searching for. I will tell you. 
the biggest win that I have with my clients is their ability to think critically and make decisions. To me, that's the unicorn. And I don't sell that promise, but it is intrinsic of it. Because you're not searching for, I need to make better decisions and I want to be capable. What you're saying is I need clients. But I know the lifetime value is that because as your business moves, as the market moves, as your capacity moves, as your strategy gets revisited, who am I? Where do I want to play? What makes me win? What do I need to do that successfully, short-term, long-term, and everything in between? Those are choices, which means you're going to be making a lot of decisions. And if I can show you how to think like a business owner, how to embody being a business owner, and how to trust your decision making as a business owner, you're going to survive anything. And that's what I want. I want more business owners not just surviving, thriving because their business feels like oxygen, because they're making intentional choices to show up amplifying their marketing message amplifying and using their voice and helping more of their buyers who are searching in the dark find them because they're this massive beacon of light that says, here's the pathway. I see you. I am you. I want to support you. And I want you to believe in the possibilities. And here's the evidence that it's possible. And if it's possible for somebody, my invitation to say is get done your BS that says it's not possible for you because the only thing standing in your way is the fact that you are saying it's not possible for me. You're saying I've lost my voice. I need to go in search and rescue. I've lost my purpose. I need to search and rescue. BS. It is choice. And so today the rallying cry is that if you are feeling, I'm not sure what to say. I hope you know, no, this is the roadmap. I invite you to make a different decision, which is put down the excuses and go for it. My friends, it's go time. The world is searching for what you need. It is time to get out of your own damn way and deliver. Creating impact. Money will follow. I am Christine Campbell Rappin. I have your best interest at heart. I want to see you win in the world of business. I want you to see the leadership that you are visible to the world. So let's go do it. Come connect to me and let's build your client growth engine and help you know who you are as a business owner, comfortable in your decision making and confident in the direction you are taking yourself, your clients, the marketplace and your entire support network. It's go time. I'll see you on the inside. That's a wrap on another amazing episode of Amplify Your Marketing Message with me, your host, Christine Campbell Rappin. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform so you don't miss another great episode. And be sure to visit christinecampbellrappin.com slash podcast to get a free resource on how to master your marketing message. We'll see you all on our next episode.